Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys what to do when you're bored. As you know, the time right now, we might all be sitting in our homes feeling bored. So I've got this video just for you guys. So let's go! So guys, the first thing we're going to be doing is making some crafts out of cooling paper. So actually, we just have this piece of paper. You can also use chart paper for this and you should roll them up using this instrument. You can also use toothpicks or pencils, etc. like that. After that, you have to roll them up and then make shapes using them. I'll show you some examples now. So guys, these are some of the examples of the things that I made. You can make a lot of different shapes using these. You can make multicolored. There's a lot of things to do with these. So today we're going to be doing such a craft. So let's go. So here I have now got a piece of paper. Now I'm going to start rolling this. So here in this instrument, there's a small hole for inserting your paper right there. You to insert your paper into that hole. After you do that, you have to roll it up. So, here I have made it into a small roll just like this. Now you have to take it out of the thing. So as you can see, I have made a small hole. Now I'm going to be putting this into here. This is actually to make it more of that shape. So I'm going to be putting it in this circle and making it bigger. There, now we've got that circle shape. Now we gotta stick it. Okay, so now I'm gonna stick it. So, just stick it at the end. Just put a little bit of glue over there. And stick it. So, like that. So right now you can see we got a small like a spiral kind of thing. Now what we had to do is we had to make a shape. So we are going to be making a teardrop. So what you had to do is basically hold it on this part where the more swirly part is. Hold it back and press it on this part. And then you can see that you formed this beautiful shape. It's really easy to make. So we are going to make more of this. So here I have made one more of that. So now I'm going to show you guys how to make a different shape. So first of all you have to make the shape that we made before and then hold the middle part again and press it on this side. And then you can form more of like an eye shape. You can use it like a petal for a flower too. So you can also make the shape, like just after you take it out of your pencil, toothpick, etc. You can just take it out and put glue on it and it'll get this shape. So guys, you can make a lot of different shapes using this and a lot of crafts too. So I'm going to be showing you one of the crafts I did. So this is one of the crafts I did. It's basically a lot of flowers. It's very easy to make. You just have to roll up this piece of paper and make these awesome designs. So now let's move on to the second thing. Let's go. So guys, the second thing we're going to be doing is a small and easy craft. So for this craft, you will just need some cups, some markers, and a blade. Now, first of all, what you must do is take one cup and draw a small face on it. Uh, you can draw a boy or a girl. So I'm gonna be drawing a girl's face. 
so Now just draw a small simple image just like that. Don't draw the inner things of the face. Just make it just like this. So after that what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the blade and cut open the face. So if children are watching this make sure that you take a help from your parents because we're using sharp objects here. So we're first going to cut it down. So I've almost finished cutting the face. So just like that, I have finished cutting down the face okay we just had to do a little more cutting right here and then we are done just a little more and there we are done okay so now we have cut up the face now you have to take your second glass and put it into the first one where we had cut down the face then over there draw some faces you can draw some expressions and all so first of all let's draw a smiling face so so here we've got one face done now what i do is you have to slowly twist the second cup and get another nice fresh area and keep on drawing facial expressions just like this so now I'm gonna make a crying face so for that I'm gonna be using the blue color to make the tears So the next craft we are going to be doing will need some chart paper, preferably green or yellow color, some markers and a scissor. Now the first thing you need to do is to fold this paper into half. So let's do that. So now I have folded this paper into half. The next thing you need to do is cut it so that we can get two pieces. I have cut this the paper into two halves and now you gotta take one half you can keep the other half on the side because we will be using that soon so now after we've done that you're gonna make this paper a little more smaller because 
this might be a little bit too big so what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it from here from this end so you can see it's more like a 3 fourth like from just here so let's cut it okay so I have cut the piece of paper just like that now you're gonna be using this part So now what you're supposed to do is to fold this into a half just like that and you're supposed to cut it to the middle. Now, if you want this thing to be big, you should not cut it into half, but I want it kind of thin, that's why I'm cutting it into half. So now we only need one half of this thing, you can move the other half away. So now we have this small piece of paper. Now what you must do is fold this paper into half. Just like that. Now open it and fold it inwards just like this do it like that and then from the same do the same from the other side you've got like this now fold this part into here like that and then fold this part there so that you can get this small kind of shape now what I'm supposed to do is you must fold it fully just like that and now we're supposed to cut the ends round because we don't want the edges that sharp so we're gonna be cutting them out just like that so last one so there now we have got that cut now we must open it and we have formed this cute caterpillar shape. Now we're supposed to draw the eyes of the caterpillar. Okay, so let's draw this. I'm just gonna draw two little cute eyes. And give it a little cute smile. You can give it any facial expression you want. But I want mine to be happy. So there we have one caterpillar ready. Now guys, I have made two of these little cute guys. And really you can use them for doing a competition. So all you have to do is take something that you can blow through um i'll say a straw will be good now let's take one of these guys for example now i'm going to be using this straw and blowing through watch it moves so actually you can use air to move this and you can tell the race to see who wins So guys, now I am playing the caterpillar race with my brother and I am already to the finish line here so now let's get ready. So, there's me, I have my straw and when the caterpillar put the caterpillars are ready and 3, 2, 1. Small, I got to this thing first. 
I cross the line first. Okay. So let's do one more round, okay? Let's do one more round, okay? Oh my god! How did you do that? Oh, I just went flashing. Oh my god, that was so fast. Thanks for watching. And if you want to try out some of this, make sure you do that. And also make sure that you subscribe, like, and share so that you can know when I post more videos just like this. Until then, bye.